up YouTube Ronix with it, a third episode of the global dodging and burning technique in Photoshop. So in this very option, we're going to be using the curves adjustment layers and using color range to enhance the highlights and the shadows in the image. Remember, this is a global dodging and burning technique whereby we are going to enhancing the overall highlights and the shadows in the image to bring back a 3D effect or shape or dimension to the images. Remember we have done uh, the previous series. The first series was about uh, dodging and burning by using the brush tool in Photoshop. Then the second was about dodging and burning by simply drawing lines to enhance the highlights and the shadows in the image. And the third method is going to be using by using the curves adjustment layers and using the color range option or the color range tool in Photoshop to enhance the highlights and the shadows in the images so let's dive in and we start learning about the third method and after this method i'm going to be doing a quick comparison of the three methods for the global dodging and burning technique and you should let me know down in the comment section about which method you really like and which one you prefer and which one maybe is time uh saving for you guys uh during your retouching process so come right down here and come to the curves so we are not going to be doing any adjustment like we had done for the previous steps or the previous methods for dodging and burning. So just make a plain curves adjustment layer and just leave it like that. Then come right here to select and come to color range. So after doing so, it is going to open this panel right here. So for this case, we only want to uh, target the highlights in the image. So get your... I get your eyedropper tool and come and select the highlights in the image like that. So you can uh, select it and if at all you don't have yours looking like this, make sure you turn on quick mask and selection is activated and invert is not checked or selected. So you can see we have just selected the highlights in uh, the image. So come and select the highlights like this in the image. And you can read increase on the fuzziness uh, to have a more targeted feel of the highlights. So I feel like right there we have the highlights really selected in the image. And after doing so, come and hit OK on the keyboard. So remember, we are, we are just dodging. That's why we targeted or selected the highlights in the image. So make a midpoint like this and now brighten. You can see the effect. If I take this all the way up, you can see it is really affecting only the highlights in the image, but we don't want that to happen. So just want to make it really subtle and not too much. So I think right there it is okay. And after doing so, we are going to rename this. Dodge. Remember we have just brightened the highlights. Then we are going to come and select our curves again and leave it the way it is yeah leave it the way it is come right to select again i hope you're seeing and following along select and come back to color range but this time around we are going to be selecting uh, the we are going to be selecting the shadows in the image so we're going to be selecting right there in the shadows and if at all you feel like uh, it is not uh, doing a really nice selection. You can uh, really turn down the fuzziness to get a more refined selection. So for this case, you can see I've targeted the shadows in the image. Yeah, and if at all you feel that is okay. But as you're doing this, make sure your selection is on and quick mask is also selected or activated. And your invert is not on or it is not checked. Come and hit OK on the keyboard. So remember, we are now targeting or darkening the shadows. So make a midpoint and you can now turn down like that. So just briefly turn it down. And you can see this is the before and the after for our shadows. And this is the before and after for our highlights in this very image 
yeah i hope that is really okay and you're really following along and understanding each and every step so what we are going to do you're going to put these two in a group by hitting command g and you're going to as rename this uh, to d and b then color range so we want to just do a quick comparison and if at all you feel like you did too much you can turn down the opacity of the overall dodging and burning or an individual uh, dodge and burn so i can rename that burn because i had not named it so i'm just close i'm closing that so this is the before and after for uh dodging and burning by using the color range option in photoshop so we want to do a comparison of the three methods for dodging and burning so the first method was using dodging and burning by using the brush tool in uh, photoshop so this was the image before after before after you can see that and the second method was using uh, dodging and burning by just simply drawing lines in photoshop so this was the image before and after before after i hope you can see that and the effect it had onto the image and the very last method uh, we did in this third episode was dodging and burning by simply uh, using the curves and drawing lines so for all the methods i've been using for dodging and burning have been involving curves in photoshop and the third method was using the color range option in just photoshop so you can see this was the image bef after before after before after you can see we have just enhanced uh, this yeah i hope you're really loving this very tutorial and you can see uh, this is really beautiful and it's really time saving so you can let me know down in the comment section about which method you love to use for dodging and burning your images or your portraits in photoshop and if at all you found this series for dodging and burning globally in photoshop really nice and helpful for you guys in your retouching process or your day-to-day -day, uh, skin retouching processes you can let me know down in the comment section but above all that you can like this video drop a comment in the comment section so that this video can really uh, have a high rating in youtube and you can have more views and that is going to help me or motivate me to keep on creating or giving you guys free lessons and tutorials and don't forget to uh, subscribe this channel if at all you have watched from this channel for the very first time i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching this uh, series of dodging and burning and i'll keep on creating and i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing keep dodging and burning and keep creating